couple of weeks ago, I did my second day of boot camp for my certification as a Google educator. And they asked me to make a video about my experiences there. So just a couple of points about it. One of them is because of the pandemic, a lot of people are doing distance learning and distance teaching now. And it's quite interesting, the idea of teaching how to do distance teaching through a distance teaching medium. So I'd quite like to be in a room situation, a person to person situation, even when I'm teaching tech, because you can lean over someone's shoulder and point out what they're doing right or what they're doing wrong on the screen, point at the buttons that they can push, point at icons that they should be clicking on. And in some ways, it's a much easier way of doing it. However, when you're teaching distance teaching, sometimes it's actually quite good to show people how you teach a distance. So there are like two learning objectives going on there. What you've got is the practicalities of uh, which buttons to push, which keys to push, how to create settings, that kind of thing. But at the same time, the people teaching those skills are actually modeling how you teach other people over a distance. And that is a different set of skills that you need to teach in the classroom. So although in some ways it's more difficult to teach at a distance, normally when you're teaching people how to teach at a distance, it can be quite good to show people how you actually do it. And quite often we don't get a lot of modeling as teachers. Uh, when we do training, we tend to get uh, lectures. And uh, one last thing I want to say is this is the first time I've ever done an international uh, teaching seminar. So for all the people in America, they're used to the fact that they've had to get up at six in the morning and someone else is uh, just kind of uh, finished their breakfast and it's mid morning. For me, the course was at two in the afternoon, which was great, but there were some people that had got up, must have had to get up at five o'clock, half five, you know, to do this. And then there were people in, I think the Philippines, and it was evening for them. So it's the first time that I've actually worked on an international level. So that was really interesting from a personal point of view, but from a professional point of view as well, to see how American teachers and Canadian teachers are using the same tools that we're teaching and applying it to their curriculum uh, and their methods of working was really good as well. So all in all, I thought I had a really good uh, teaching and learning experience at boot camp and I'm really looking forward to taking my level two certification. Thanks for watching.